Howdy y'all. We are going to be doing more kind of in the weeds reviews, but I don't want to abandon all of my faithful viewers and listeners who just like to hear me babble about things while I put makeup on occasionally. And today we have a lot of new makeup to try. This is gonna be mostly first impressions, but these are also products that we're going to do deep dives on in some cases. Mainly, speaking of the new, that I have not even opened, Makeup by Mario blushes. Now I did reach out to the company because they had reached out to me in the past about sending me some PR, and I was like, am I on y'all's PR list? And they're like, we don't send it out like perfectly consistently for every release least, but we're happy to send you some goodies and send you all the new blushes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and I had already ordered two shades, my OTP shades, my kind of, you know, light pink and rich coral kind of colors. And so we're going to use this as an opportunity to do a first impression. But then once I have all the shades, we'll do a deep dive video on all the shades because I know how much y'all love that. I also have this new palette from LH Cosmetics. I feel like LH Cosmetics is slowly but surely making its way into like the mainstream on like beauty YouTube. It's an indie brand by Linda Hallberg. And I've had the pleasure of using a lot of her products over the last like six months to a year. And they just consistently impress me. So not only did I get this, but her team also saw my last video where they had sent me the bronzers and the bronzers were just too deep. And so they did offer to send the fairest shade. So we'll see if this works as well. I also have some friend mail. My good friend, Hope Mess Tom, did send me some of their kind of hand-me-downs. I don't know if I'm gonna get to use this today, but look forward to me actually being able to compare things to this because that's what you'll ask me about all the time. This is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Very exciting to have this in my paws. I also have, and I think this is what I'm going to be using today, the Ritual Defee Thorn Milk Hydrating Skin Mist. Never tried this, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to give this another shot, the new Ritual Defee Three Drop Weightless Serum Foundation. I have some other goodies. I got some eyebrow pencils from Koki in the mail that are just, I love the packaging. They're still shrink wrapped, so they look a little bit chintzy at the moment, but either way, we'll be giving these a shot today and chatting about some stuff that y'all offer up on my Instagram stories. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna go citrus today. I do feel like I must be about to start my period because I am knocking over everything inside. <laughs> vibes, vibes, vibes. Okay, yeah. Let's start with this here thorn milk. So this is, again, this is by Ritual Defeat. I just shook it, but it does separate pretty quickly and it becomes this suspension, right? It's kind of a duo phase, biphase. That's the word, biphase. And you're supposed to actually spray it. So, I already have my sunscreen on and everything, let's see. Well, isn't that quite lovely? The reason I leaned so close is because I didn't know if it had color to it and I'm wearing white pants. So, I wanted to make sure. What is that smell? It's a very specific smell. Might be rose? I obviously have no context on this. This is not something that I lusted after, you know? So, I, I, y'all will be able to tell me more about this product in the comments than I'll be able to tell you about it right now. Let's start with the Ritual Defee foundation here again. This is the three drop weightless serum foundation. It's kind of hard to do a drop because it just kind of comes out continuously, but y'all, I think I might have mentioned this already, but I've been having to do my skincare in practically the dark lately. <laughs> I've been picking so badly. It is such a bad habit that manifests from stress for me, but something clicked. Something clicked in my life and kind of fell into place over the last, honestly, like 48 hours or so. And I think it has a lot to do with well, maybe I'll go ahead and like content warn y'all, trigger warn y'all. I'm gonna kind of talk about, you know, my eating habits. <laughs> but I do have a history of my eating habits kind of reflecting my stress levels and my, the way that that happens for me, some people they eat more, I eat less. And it's not even so much that I lose my appetite as it is that like when my body's in fight or flight mode, I tend to just kind of like burn my nerves up, I feel like, and it like burns more. It like keeps me like in this heightened state that just burns all the calories in my body. So even if I'm eating the same amount, I'm like losing weight. And I know that y'all probably have been able to see it in my face and you know, my Instagram posts, especially, I feel like the lighting does absolutely no favors in terms of kind of the volume lost in my face. And I have I've lost 10 pounds <laughs> over the last couple of months. Wow, I must have gotten a tan <laughs> over Memorial Day weekend because like that used to match and now my neck is darker. That's interesting. That's not a difficult thing to cover the distance on though. Easier than the other way around. <laughs> Easier than it being too dark. So this is just so gorgeous. I do think that a sponge is the way to go. 
And I don't know, I'm gonna kind of skip around here for a second, but Ritual Defeat, I feel like really fell into the category of clean beauty when I was doing Clean Routine 2019. Back, you know, 2019 on my channel, I focused entirely on clean beauty in a very skeptical sense, but I really was dedicated to the project. Ritual Defeat has come such a long way. And I really feel like this is a much more sophisticated formula than you would expect from like a clean beauty company putting out a three drop foundation. You know, like you would probably think if it sold at Credo, which of course now they're on like Ulta and everything, but that it was gonna be kind of just like a suspension of dirt in some really pretty oils kind of thing. But it's just, there's just so much more than the sum of its parts. I like it very much. Look at the radiant kind of finish that it has on my skin and also, I felt like everything just like wanted to cooperate more. That's kind of the best way to put it with this on there. So I think that they're meant to work together and I think that they actually do work together really beautifully. So anyway, yeah, I lost 10 pounds. Last time I was with the doctor, I looked at the scale and I was like, that's a problem. All right, I'm gonna do my under eye corrector real quick and then we'll go in with the Givenchy. So anyway, yeah, it's been a conscious effort for me because losing weight is never my goal. It's been a conscious effort for me to eat more, you know, to refeed as it were, because I was just getting very, very like unhealthy. What tends to happen for me is that like, I just like lose momentum in life. Like I just lose my energy levels and I get really, really exhausted and depressed. And you know, all, all the things that happen when you literally are just like, not, <laughs> you're not thriving, you know, like you're failing to thrive. So I have been making such a conscious effort to like kind of eat everything inside. <laughs> And I feel so much better. <laughs> I like I'm just noticing like the life force coming back into my body. So I know the appearance of it has been kind of alarming. I just want to let y'all know that I know. <laughs> it's just something that happens to me. Ooh, that thorn milk is everywhere though. <laughs> It has a good bit of oil suspended in it, I think, and it has sprayed all over my table and all over the makeup sitting on my table. All right, let's see if anything has come through from y'all. I said ask me anything, and y'all really asked me anything. Tiny squids for fingers or two big squids for feet? <laughs> I love squids. We've been watching Finding Dory because, you know, we watched Finding Nemo enough times. My kid does like to go, go in order. Finding Dory is one of the most chaotic movies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it is so bizarre. <laughs> it is so weird, but the giant squid scene is actually amazing. I'm so impressed by giant squids. I think that they're amazing. I think I would go squid fingers. Just on principle, I'd like little well, no baby squids. But thank you for your thought provoking question. Will there be any fashion videos? Gosh, y'all, you know, I really appreciate how y'all are constantly like asking for cool, like m more, I don't wanna say diversified, but diversified content, you know? Things that I don't typically make content on, but that you're curious about in my life. The truth is I, I see people pivot and make valuable content and stuff like that all the time. Hannah has done a really, Hannah Louise Poston has done a really incredible job of pivoting her content to include more fashion content. And I do feel like her fashion content is really useful. I think that that's a big, you know, plus to making it work is that people come back to her channel because they're going to like learn things. I have tried to kind of pivot my content in different ways. And I really just feel like for whatever reason, YouTube doesn't want me to. I wanna make the fashion content, but it's really hard. It's really hard when you put a lot of work into something because fashion content requires changing your filming setup. Changing your filming setup is just like asking for trouble. You can just, I mean, lose entire videos because like your microphone is at a new distance from you and stuff like that. Plus fashion is kind of mine, you know? I just feel like it's something that I don't necessarily always want to make part of my job. Okay, I took a little break to upload today's video. I'm on a funny schedule because of the holiday, but I think that now we are ready to open up these blushes from Makeup by Mario. So I got Just Peachy and Barely Blushing. If y'all are new here, it is very typical of me to buy blushes in what I call my OTP, which is like a pale pink and a warmer apricot if that's what they have in the collection, which they usually do. Okay, so they do appear to be in the exact same component as the bronzer. Oddly, the letters are different from the inside but not from the outside, <laughs> whatever. Ooh, yep, it feels just like the bronzer. Oh my gosh, look how desaturated that is and how sheer it is. I think I'm going to love this. So for the sake of science, 
There are those two shades against the Pillow Talk shades from Charlotte Tilbury. I just feel like they're kind of like a baseline for comparison. They're just very good versions of my OTP. So that's Peach Pop and that's just the regular Pillow Talk shade. And honestly, if I try and shear them out as much as I possibly can, we're looking at something extraordinarily similar. Very, very different in formula. Super different in formula. I would hazard a guess that if, you know, the Makeup by Mario ones are pretty much the same formula as the bronzer, they're not talking about like a dry down. Dry down lips teeth tip of the tongue roof of the mouth khaki. Somebody slapped me in the back of the head. It's like I got a mouthful of marbles. Charlotte Tilbury ones do dry down all the way and they're matte so very, very different in that concept. So typically if I were applying the bronzer, I would be using the 105, our dump truck brush here from BK. But because I want a little bit more precision application, I will I'll spare you that. And I'm going to go in with my BK 101 here. And we're gonna start with that pale pink shade. Again, this is called Barely Blushing. So I'm expecting to barely be blushing. I want a slow build. That's really beautiful. Ooh, I'm also having a really tough time finding my words today because I've been up since 5.30 and I woke up in the middle of the night twice because Poor Simon. He's getting his two-year molars and people talk about how some kids just don't make any kind of fuss about their teeth coming in. It's just like, surprise, there they are. And then some kids are, it's just literally the entire theme of their life while it's happening. It completely changes their personality and the latter is my child. <laughs> when he was teething before, when he was, you know, a baby baby and getting his first teeth. I definitely recognize a complete change in his personality when he's in pain. You know, it's loud and clear. And so we are big fans of some, some children's motion in this household, you know, make sure he's got something on his stomach first. But I mean, he wakes up in the middle of the night and I go into his room and he says, I need Motrin. We're talking about a two and a half year old. And he'll just be like that clear about it because it's just, I mean, they just, his gums are swollen and it's just ruining his life. That's what we've been going through now with the two year molars. And it was a while ago actually that I kind of figured out what was happening because like he just wouldn't eat and he was spitting all his food out. And honestly, all the signs were there. But of course you don't think about it. As a first time parent, you're like, I thought we were done teething kind of thing. And he turned around and looked at me at the dinner table and I saw the look on his face and I was like, oh, this is not a tantrum, he's in pain. And that was when I went to the store and I bought all the yogurt that they had <laughs> so that we could keep some calories in him. And I got some children's motion for the first time in, you know, over a year. So yeah, he woke up twice in the middle of the night and then woke up at 5.30 in the morning, just, you know, perfectly miserable. <laughs> okay, that is really beautiful. That's super, super chill. We'll see if the color sticks around. I assume that it's going to because the bronzer does tend to stick around. And now we're gonna go in with just peachy. I have a long legacy with Mario's peach blushes because when he first did his makeup collab with Kim Kardashian, I remember buying the pink blush from that collection and like loving the color and being so excited about it and being so frustrated by the formula. And then I bought his peach powder blush, creamy peach, from his actual Makeup by Mario collection. And I love it. I love it. It's so good. So this is really, really gorgeous. Look at that. I think if my foundation weren't even like the slightest bit lighter than the rest of my body right now, this would look even richer. It's just kind of mixing a little bit with my complexion product. I'm not mad about it, but I do think that that's something to be aware of visually that that's happening. Okay, I wanna powder just a little bit before we go in with this bronzer from LH Cosmetics because I recall, regardless of the shade, I do recall it being a little bit pigmented, a little bit stampy, want to stamp. And we're gonna work with the Thrive Blush Brush here and I'm gonna go in with my Kosas powder and just touch it here and there. Touch it, bring it, play it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop for mad it. Touch it, bring it, play it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop for mad it. Technologic. That's, that's that. I'm really enjoying this so far, but yeah. The di that's not just shadow, like that's a different color on my neck than on my face. And I'm hoping that this newer shade here, which is called Luminous in the Infinity Bronzer, is going to be the answer. I think that it might. I think that it might, Rabbit. Does anybody get that reference when I do that? There was like the old format of like the Looney Tunes cartoons where they were bringing the cops and the cops would be like, would he do that? You might, Rabbit, you might. And he had this like Irish accent, Scottish accent. I don't remember. I don't remember. The things that implant themselves in my brain. 
can't account for them. So let's do this here. I'm gonna be so cautious. I mean, I take it as a compliment that they initially sent me the deeper shades, like, oh, she must be so glowy and bronze. And the answer was just like, no. Ooh, that's nice. And I am being a little bit less careful with it. Like, I don't really feel like I have to be as careful with it. Ooh, that's quite lovely, isn't it? Now that we've got the right color. I know, I always say, it's like hard to give anything a really good review if you can't get a good match in it. Foundation, bronzer. I do think of bronzer as being kind of an extension of your foundation routine because it is. It's like typically in kind of skin colors, right? Not so much in like a, I'm gonna decide what color blush I wanna wear today kind of thing. Like bronzer's kind of either wrong or right. And I'm getting carried away with it because I like it. That's so pretty. Might even do a little bit down here, kind of just generally deepen up the whole foundation situation, as it were. I'm just not interested in like a ton of contrast, you know? That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I can actually speak to the formula. That's really, really lovely. And it cooperated really nicely on top of like all the cream and everything. That's just really, really nice. All right, things are about to get wild in a hurry. <laughs> and that is because this palette is it's a very specific animal, okay? I'm not sure how we're going to be able to stay away from this being kind of like gunmetal grunge today. I'm not gonna go into the blues. It's just not me. I'm not gonna be able to make something like that look good, okay? If you're new here on my channel, there are certain colors that just don't work on me. And things that lean this far blue don't work on me. On my eyes, they make my eyes glow demon red. They make everything look smaller. It's a lot of work for no payoff. Same thing goes for cherry red, like candy apple red blush. I'm not gonna argue about it. It just doesn't look good on me. So we're gonna stay in kind of this territory and we're definitely going to use the yellow because I think that that's the pop that just don't stop. That's another reference to something that I don't even know. I, is that is that Pringles? Once you pop, you can't stop? I'm gonna use kind of a placement method here, kind of go Jackie Ina style, because I have a feeling, based on my experience with both dipping my fingers into this so far and also other LH Cosmetics formulas, eyeshadow formulas, that these are going to probably be fairly um, ambitious in their pigment. I'm gonna start with Slab here, which is this lighter matte. And we're going to wade into this territory slowly. And let's take a question while we do so. What is your relationship with Virgos? I say this with all of the kindness in my heart. You must be new here. <laughs> because I talk about this actually every opportunity I get. Virgos are kind of the people who I like have a running list of in my brain the same way that I do like left-handed people because I just love both. <laughs> I collect left-handed people and I collect Virgos. So I should say my mother is a left-handed Virgo. I think that that kind of got me off to the races thinking highly of both. I think being left-handed is really cool. But anyway, Virgos are the chaotic order that meets me at my chaos. So for example, my friend Rachel, Rachel Ellen Rose, is the epitome of a Virgo. She is the kind of person who is never overwhelmed by my chaos, but she's constantly, like her brain is always churning on like, how can we turn this into something that makes sense to everyone kind of thing. And I really believe that she and I will have a project together at some point, you know, because it's just like, I think that Aries and Virgo are like a match made in heaven. I'm going to have to pull something into this eye look to give, give it some warmth because there's just no relief in here. That can be something that we do after the fact, after you really get to see everything that's happening in the palette. I want you to see kind of the trueness of what you can get from it and then we'll sort of adapt it to my needs. I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush now that I am a little less fearful of this particular slab shade and just kind of sheer it out a little bit. I might even use pitch which is yeah it's like the shimmery version of that same color and use that to sheer out the edges here but yeah cool 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 like it is just dampening down my natural warmth in my skin. And there's nothing wrong with that necessarily. It's just something to be aware of. Like Linda Hallberg has very warm undertones. And I, I wanna say she self tans. Like she's got a really golden complexion in most cases and she does not shy away from the contrast of this, but she also has light eyes. And I feel like that really helps when you're wearing colors like this. Other Virgos in my life that I love. <laughs> Jason from Phytosurgeons. That's a Virgo. And that is a Virgo if a Virgo ever. Virgo, that's a Virgo. Also, poster child for Virgo. Kiki from Salt, New York. I mean, 
I love the Virgo energy. They're chaotic, they're matter of fact. They do the toil behind the scenes. They're always the ones kind of picking up the thankless slack. They've got like mothering energy. And I always say it doesn't mean you have to go be a parent, but like you should see Jason's plant collection. <laughs> Like, he has to nurture something, you know? So yeah, the, the Cliff's Notes version is, I think, extraordinarily highly of, of Virgos. So now we're going to use this shade Dino right here. They're all in a very easy color family that goes with itself. You know, I don't feel like any of these is particularly disparate, except for obviously the pop of yellow. But since the majority of the kind of deeper shades are matte, it's something that I want to, you know, like I said, wade into really carefully because we can get ourselves in trouble. That's too small of a brush. If you went to high school with some of your content creator friends, do you think you'd be friends with them? I do. <laughs> I definitely do. So, I mean, obviously age differences aside, you know, if we were kind of all in the same cohort, I'm going back in with slab to kind of blend that deep shade make it a little bit more seamless. I mean, that was one of my first thoughts as I got to know Tom, Hope Miss Tom, was, I mean, I said it to them immediately. I was like, we would have been friends in high school <laughs> because we're both just kind of like, you know, weirdos, scene kid weirdos that, you know, are a little bit like loud and over the top. I don't know. I think Tom said that they were maybe a little bit more shy. I was not. Doesn't mean that we wouldn't have been friends. You know, it's like, you don't have to be identical. I just think that we ran with very, very similar groups of people. And we probably would have been really annoying together. I know I was annoying. I don't want to speak for Tom, but I was annoying. I'm actually going in with a little bit of the bronzer because my muscles moved without me having any say in it. I was just like, wait, my cheeks are bronzy. I'm going to put that color in my eye look because it is also LH Cosmetics. So that's going to add the necessary warmth to kind of bring it together a little bit. Hannah, I did talk to Hannah about kind of who she was in high school and college because she was sitting next to me at the beach during Creators and Friends. I mean, I think that I have to use that, right? That's kind of the main character. It's literally the center pan, so let's do it. But yeah, I was really, really close to Hannah physically and I was like, did you used to have your lip pierced? And she was like, I did. And I was like, were you a scene kid? And she was like, no. <laughs> and I have heard a lot of her kind of history, you know, like, where she went to school and where she grew up and stuff. And I would like to think that she and I would have been kind of a very similar level of like in between. Cause I, I did, I kind of ran through a lot of crowds. I was not a particularly confident person at high school age. I mean, how many people really are, but I didn't find my confidence until much later. And so I don't know if I would really like, I mean, I would love her as my inner child, uh, love the person that I used to be, but I'm not sure that I'd really like being around myself <laughs> at that age. I don't know, I don't wanna speak for other people, but I was, I was not cool, <laughs> okay? And like, I mean, maybe, maybe some people thought that I was, especially in college, I think that like, I started to put on this like, persona of being cool or whatever. Still, I wouldn't call myself cool by like any real standards, but definitely not in high school. And I'd like to think that my friends now would have seen that in me, seen the potential in me at least at that age. We were all just trying to figure it out. I think this is going pretty well. Like I'm digging it. I'm kind of getting confident building up more of these colors and I'm just using all the same ones, you know, just kind of using the, the gradient of the lighter gray and the deeper gray. What's really nice about these formulas is how well they stick. Oh, well, I say that and I definitely have some fallout. That's probably mostly from me sticking my finger in that center shade. I will say that center shade, while it's giving me a really nice kind of like neutral to cool grunge, it isn't like the creamiest shadow in the world. It feels a little bit crumbly. I'm not sure how I feel about that, like in terms of whether I would recommend it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the House Labs powder because it's loose and I'm gonna put that on a brush here pretty liberally and use it to sweep away that fallout. Well, I thought I was going to. I don't think that, that really worked at all. We're just gonna have to deal with it, I think. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab smear on a wet brush and I'm gonna use that underneath because I just don't want any more fallout than I really have to have, you know? I'm digging it, I'm digging it. It's definitely different for me. This is a palette that as soon as I opened it, 
I immediately just opened up Instagram and started sending pictures of it to Tom because Tom is a bigger fan of a neutral or cool eye look than I am. I was just like, you're gonna love this. And I was right. Something smaller. Angie, help me out. The Singe E04. I'm gonna dip that into pitch. Use that to blend under and blend out. Pitch is a little bit, a little bit more satin. So I think it'll kind of break the line up a little bit. And I'm leaving my inner corner bald because I'm gonna put that bright freaking yellow on there. Now, here's the thing with this, right? This yellow right here, I mean, it's shimmery and it has a pretty aggressive shift on it. So it's not packing like the yellow punch that I would want to achieve with this. So what I'm gonna start with, if I can find it, is Sunflower from Victoria Beckham. There it is, it just fell off the table as soon as I bumped it. I'm a lucky girl, all good things fall on me. Okay. This is the eyewear from VB, and we are going in. I want to look like someone has pollinated my inner corner. Is that sexual? And then we'll take something small again. 18 brush from Sephora, and I'm gonna dip that into flash in the LH Cosmetics palette and just set it, even though it does not need to be set. It will set itself. And it kind of softens it, actually. I kind of would rather it be a little bit brighter, but I'm not mad at that. The one thing I'm not loving is how much freaking fallout I have going on. I do want to go for a little bit more of the coral. I'm gonna go with a big brush. Beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. Ayy. Yeah. Dump truck. Dump truck. That is awesome. So I did get a question that was like, are they sheer or are they really pigmented? What's kind of interesting is that like, they're both, you know, you saw me swatch it and yeah, it was very sheer, but like that's a fair amount of pigment I just got from it. I'm into it. And before I duck off and do my liner and my mascara and whatnot, I don't, I'm sorry y'all, I cannot find my words. I've already been up for like almost five hours and it's 10 a.m. Like, <laughs> This is the blonde pencil from Koki. I do hate shrink wrap. I hate it so much. I think it's like half the reason that I get annoyed with drugstore packaging is just because I hate shrink wrap so much. I'm gonna use blonde and see how it goes because lately I've just been really enjoying having lighter penciling in on my eyebrows and then going in with, you know, the darker mousse. Yep, I like that. Look at this packaging, it's so cute. It's like giving hourglass, like it's so pretty. The funniest part is I'm going to show up to my kid's daycare to give him medicine with this eye look on. I don't care. The worst is when I have to go out with one look on one eye and one on the other. So the blonde is kind of warm and I'm into it. I think that that's nice. I love the sleekness of this pencil. I like the shape of the pencil itself. It's just like a regular old little, you know, just a normal tiny tip. Not trying to get too fancy. It's very pretty. I just needed a new brow pencil and lo and behold, you know? Lucky girl. All right, I'm going to duck off, do my liner and my mascara, and I don't know what we're gonna put on my lips, but we'll figure it out when we get there. <laughs> this is to me the fact that the lid fits on both sides of the brow pencil so you never end up accidentally smashing the pencil it's a small thing that makes such a big difference because I'm sorry a lot of us are doing our makeup before we've had our coffee in the morning and that's just enough to make you want to go back to bed okay I do feel like I need a little bit of just powder contour I didn't do any contour at all at all. Grabbing that on my BK A507. This is my Natasha Denona contour sculpting powder. Work that into my hairline a little bit. Shorten the forehead just a touch, just visually. But the finish, the finish of that foundation 
the way <laughs> that it is just doing such flattering things for my quite imperfect complexion situation right now without getting sludgy or like too dewy, tolerating powder, being just so effortlessly lightweight. Very, very impressed. You know, it's kind of how I describe, you know, like the House Labs blushes and stuff where I'm just like, I just keep waiting for this to disappoint me and it hasn't yet. Like this Ritual Defeat Foundation is just kind of greater than the sum of its parts. It's just like very like quietly excellent, you know? Appreciate that. Now I will say, I knew what I was doing when I went into it, putting a warm brown, like the Hindash Color Fluid and Thorn as my eyeliner on top of a cool toned eye look. I knew it was gonna look a little bit funky, but like I'd rather that be the case than try and work with just straight up black on my eyes. It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna, it just doesn't work very well on me. So, you know, if you are a black liquid eyeliner kind of gal, you do you, you absolutely do you. But I need, I need the warmth to kind of pull it together even if it's kind of in an oddball spot. So I'm gonna take that same little blush brush from Thrive and use that to break up this line tippy tap that, especially because we did kind of put so much powder there from the fallout, the fallout boy. Where is your boy tonight? I hope he is a gentleman. Look at how it just kind of smooths out the visual effect, right? You're not ending up with quite as much contrast. I noticed in my last video, I had tried so hard to overcompensate for the pink face that I had ended up practically like baking my jaw, which is not something that I would typically do. And it showed in the light, like it reflected in the light. And I was like, all right, well, you know, forgive me. It's not not a mood. Maybe he won't find out, but I know. This actually ended up being a more tame look than I thought. It's really just the yellow that's the pop. I think it's kind of awesome. A little bit more wearable than I was expecting. I think it was the headband that was making it look like it was just gonna end up really chaotic. I'm gonna use the ColourPop lippy pencil that I have been really enjoying in Ashton. I did find the lid. It doesn't like to stay on, but I found it. And that's good and cool toned. Hmm. Definitely playing with cool and warm today. Yeah, I don't know why that doesn't, something's wrong. It like just does not want to stay on. And then I'm just gonna use like my Gisu, right? Gloss lip oil stuff and use that to blend in the lip liner. It was a shot in the dark, but I like it. I think it's cool. I think that the one thing that's missing here is a little bit of the coral color from my cheeks on my eyes, but I don't feel comfortable doing that with the makeup by Mario. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my Armani. I'm going to add this very strategically, kind of here, ooh, and here. Give it just a little bit of something. And I'll take something a little bit bigger and work just a little haze of it up here. Give it a glow. It's always a trick that I like, pulling a little bit of your blush color into your eye look to pull it together. So it's not that like a palette like this can't work for other skin tones that aren't, you know, like super good at wearing cool tones. It's just a little bit of like, you know, just have to do some extra steps, right? And I do think that the Armani also kind of belongs as a finishing touch here. So, so far, I'm pleased with, this is kind of, we're, we're just sliding on into my initial thoughts here. I'm pleased with the Makeup by Mario blushes in their cooperativeness, cooperativity. Cooperativity, that's not a word. But they are not ever, I feel like, going to build to like, you know, the super satisfying, like saturation value that you can get from a powder. And then I don't think that that's what they're going for. You know what I mean? I don't think that's a shortcoming. I just think that like, you know, that news probably won't surprise you, but it is, it is the news <laughs> nonetheless. And I am like really, really into them. I would love, and I'm actually really excited to just use these with the bronzer itself and just like see how subtle of a look I can get on like a very like summertime skin sort of makeup vibe. And that will be probably what I showcase when I actually do the deep dive on all the shades. So I will do the deep dive on all the shades very similarly to the way that I did the NARS video. I will show y'all application footage of every single one and then we're gonna do like a swatch party against other things in my collection that I think are comparable and I'll give you my final thoughts on the actual performance of the formula and whether or not I recommend it. The short answer is it is as easy to work with as the bronzer and I'm a huge fan of the bronzer. So that's where I'm gonna leave it today on those. Now, the Linda Holberg things, the LH Cosmetics stuff. I mean, come on. I, it's not perfect. This is not a perfect formula, but the color story is pretty outstanding. Like it's really, really fun. The thing that I was able to achieve here, I do feel like I had, I required assistance from the Victoria Beckham eyewear. And I also had to pull in the bronzer, which if I can just take a moment, the bronzer, 
what a star. Once I finally like got the right shade, the easiest bronzer to work with, it did such a good job and the shade Luminous is right on point, just right on point. So good, so excellent. Brought my complexion that was too light to an accurate color for matching my neck, which is just fantastic. I mean, just couldn't ask for more. It was so easy. So yeah, I mean, I kind of knew going into this palette that like, this is not my comfort zone. It's just not, but I came uh, to do something and I did what I came to do. And I think that like, there's something so interesting to be had with a kind of aggressively, but in a calculated way, really pushing the limits of cool versus warm. Because I do have like warm brown eyes and I did put warm eyeliner on with a cool toned look. I worked the bronzer, which is warm, into the eye look to really allow the other colors to stand in contrast. I also went very cool on my lips. Even though it's a very subtle wash, it's practically gray. And I feel like all of that kind of comes together to look a lot more intentional. So it is, it's about kind of the push-pull and being able to step away from it and go like, you know, is this going to be the easiest thing in the world? No, but are we gonna make it work? Absolutely, and I definitely think that we made it work. I freaking love this look. I love it a lot. Oh, and then as far as like, you know, updating my thoughts here, this is really lovely. <laughs> I liked this a lot. I am a little, they say that you can spray it on after you do your makeup. Hey, I'm afraid to do that because it's got so much oil in it. If it didn't distribute properly, it might make something run. I just think that, you know, maybe I'll try it on a makeup look I don't like as much as I like this one. But this, oh boy. I really, really enjoy this. It is right now a little too light for me, but now that we know that, you know, I can bronze it up and stuff like that, especially with that LH Cosmetics bronzer, I feel like we accomplished something really seamless and pretty and the just is so cooperative. Again, it's just like quietly great, right? Digging the heck out of this. Really, really enjoying it. So I hope y'all found this valuable. I hope this is fun for y'all. And you know, like I said, I'll be sprinkling in these kinds of videos because I want y'all to see my first impressions of things before I do the deep dives and stuff like that. It also helps me gauge your interest on specific products that I you know, might want to expand on, expand a review on. So let me know, let me know in the comments what y'all think. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, do me a favor and hit the button down there and, and thumbs it up, make it official, give it a like, and if you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would stick around. That would be fantastic. I'll put a video up here that I think y'all are going to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.